Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cody back with yet another episode of TLC Trash Fire. So, a couple of things. Happy late April Fool's Day. Unfortunately, I'm not smart enough to have taken advantage of this holiday and done some sort of a trick on you guys. So, there is no prank this year, but maybe next year. Hopefully, you enjoyed your April Fool's Day. Also, we've got a new 90-day The Single Life Tell-All. So we've got The Single Life Tell-All Part 3, which I'm going to review shortly after this. But before we continue with Part 3, I just wanted to go over the Chantel segment of the Tell-All Part 2 because I just found it to be very interesting, and I was having some shower thoughts earlier Basically, I was thinking about how Chantel is really looking for a six-pack. <laughs> and I think that she's going to have difficulty finding a great man if all she cares about is physical attributes. And once they dug in and kind of started talking to this guy from Greece that Chantel is, I suppose, still currently dating... He hasn't seemed too motivated to come see her in America. And he's had a very laissez-faire sort of attitude about their relationship, saying things like, well, she can come and visit me, and this and that. The guy's nice enough, you know, but he could be completely fake and have no plans of actually going out of his way to make it work between him and Chantel. Before we get started with today's video, make sure to like the video while it's on your mind. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to support the channel, you could become a member, which helps to support the channel on a somewhat regular basis. It's only five bucks a month. And if you don't want to do that, the new thing that I'm offering my viewers, if they want to help out the channel, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash TLC trash fire and leave a one-time tip, and I get the majority of whatever tip you give. I get about 85 or so percent of it. Unlike a lot of these other services that take a big cut, Buy Me A Coffee is one of the best ones. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today, and let's go ahead and get into the segment together. April Fools, there actually is no video today. So, <laughs> give me a hug, Mama. Hi, hey, girl, hey. Why, why, Chantel? Why spank your mother? I, I, I just don't. <laughs> We're already off to a bizarre start. Chantel's divorce party in Greece. Oh, I think it was probably a whole lot of fun and necessary. And Most necessary. necessary. Did you have any problem with my uh, outfits or anything? Everybody has their own preference. Her way of expressing herself, especially when she's trying to heal from uh, being married to a... Anyway, don't even want to say that. You can say ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miss Debbie, you've heard... Pedro was a complete asshole. I don't think... I don't think it was possible for him to care any less <laughs> during their relationship. I think in the beginning, they had some romance, and then the like their marriage was just a disaster. And Pedro also has a very weird relationship with his sister. Some, some kind of uh, incest undertones going on with them, you know what I mean? The sister was insanely jealous of Chantel, and it was just very strange. He has a very weird, aggressive family, and he's a very weird, aggressive man. I don't think I'm going to find my husband in a bar. Like, I really don't think I'm going to find my man, like, out in the club. I was trying to have fun with my divorce party. <laughs> Is that why you immediately started like full-time dating this guy from Greece instead of just making it a uh, vacation fling because the, the Grecian guy wants it to be just a fling I think <laughs> he wants it to be casual he's like hey hit me up anytime you uh, come to Greece you know but uh, I don't think I'm coming to America just letting you know let's take a look back at the first moments of your relationship 
So where where are you from? I'm from Georgia. What were you doing in London? I was I was playing football there. You must be really good. To be honest, yeah. Oh. Would you come and stay here? I think they make a great couple because they're both really hot and they're both really dumb. So, you know, they just kind of match in those regards. They wouldn't really challenge each other's intelligence. They'd both just kind of, you know, float through life being hot. And, uh, yeah, so that I, I think they would make a good couple in that regard. Are you going to give me a reason to? Hmm? Sorry, guys. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> That's good. Yay! <laughs> High five. Okay, Wrong. so now it's, it's my turn again. Okay. okay. All right. The feelings are for me are uh, are here. I I like you. But do you like like me though, Giannis? What about like like like? Like you're actually gonna come to the United States and get a visa to come see me? If you could come to the United States to visit me there, that would show a lot. See, that's what I'm saying. He's not interested in doing that. He's like, yeah, it would, but I'm probably not gonna do that. My move is my turn now to make it work and keep it going. As a man, I'll, I'll come first, but then you follow. Okay, um, why not? Are you still in touch with Yams? I am. You are. Yeah. Okay, how often do you two talk? It's so hard. I have to call him at 5 a.m. before work because of the time difference. Girl, just let it be a fling. Just let it be over. This is not gonna work out, guys. How would you define your relationship? I I'm single, but I, I really am interested in Giannis. I like him a lot. But I am worried because I felt like this before and um, it didn't go well. So it's like I'm cautious about it. Uh huh. Your list of expectations. Did Giannis check all of those boxes, Chantel? He checked some. He did? Okay. W which ones did he check? Big one was a six pack. And, uh, dang, what else was on the list? Six pack. Muscles. He's got those. Fuckboy haircut. Got that. Um, dang. I think that was about it, honestly. Successful? Do you consider him yeah. successful? A successful soccer player. Adventurous. Advent. Is he pro or does he just really like soccer? Adventurous, right? You said patient. We'll see how patient he is. It just, we need more time. Yeah, and well endowed. <laughs> oh yeah, huge. Well endowed. I'm not exactly sure, but I felt it a little bit when we were in the water at the beach. <laughs> but that shouldn't be a prerequisite. Some people like what they like. I think he's sexy with his body. I'm sorry to keep talking about it, but it's impressive. Like, he's got... The and that's all you care about. That's all she cares about. <laughs> Hi, Giannis. Hello. Are there any questions you would like to ask Giannis? Yes. Go right ahead. How many siblings do you have in your family? Uh, two brothers and one sister. Okay, how, and how old is your sister? 30 to 31. She's oh. going to be 31 in August. Um, when you have, have had girlfriends in the past, has your sister gotten along with most of them? Mom, or? please don't, please, please. The mom's like, let me ask you a question. Do you happen to be dating your sister who's also extremely jealous? Just curious because, you know, we're just kind of field testing out Chantel's prospective partners just to make sure there's not any sort of underlying jealousy due to some sort of incestual relationship that they secretly have going on. We're just curious. I'm not I'm not implying that you are dating your sister, but doesn't hurt to, to ask, right? <laughs> when Chantel called you from Greece, mm -hmm. 
you told her not to bring home another man who needs a visa. Well, yes, that the reason being, I'm sorry, but yeah, you need to get your own visa to come here 50-50 in effort. Mm-hmm. I agree. And honestly, I'm even more old school as to say the man should do some more effort. Like, if he's really interested, the, the, he, in, in a bit, he responds with basically like, I haven't done any research on the visa. Because, Chantel, he doesn't care, dude. <laughs> it was a fling, and he got to be on TV. I don't understand why she keeps trying to have relationship with these f boy guys. Like, did she not learn her lesson from Pedro? If I would um, plan to come there, um, I wouldn't... Um expect anyone to cover my uh, my expenses so the bare minimum thank you the vibe i got the days she was here it was uh, amazing she has two footballs you know two footballs if that makes sense I'm not gonna say where because we are on television but uh and i love footballs the size the feel the roundness i think the most important is the personality and the values she has as a person yeah, she's insanely deep, guys. She's just so many values, such such depth of character. When am I going to see you again? We'll, we'll try to make it as soon as possible. Uh, uh, Giannis, That's so vague. Do you have any plans to come to visit Chantel in the States? And we're talking about that. And uh, we're trying to see how and uh, when that would be possible. And why and where and there's just so many questions and I've done zero research. I don't want to promise anything because I never do that as a person. But when I say it will happen, it will 100%. We're still trying to figure it <laughs> Chantel's mom. Yeah. Why is it so hard for you to come here? Well, as I, I don't give a shit. I said we have busy schedule. Uh, I cannot like just leave these things behind. The easiest would be if uh, if Santo will find the time to visit me here. Of course, of course, of course. I mean, that, she should put in all the effort. But you said we just watched <laughs> the course. clip where you said you were gonna come visit her, and then she would come visit you. It's your turn. So wait, do you need a visa to come here from Greece? I don't know. I think so. Yeah. He. Sh I think so. No idea though, because I I r literally don't care. Should have checked that out already. It doesn't surprise me. This is her. This is her taste in men, guys. This is her taste in men. She's she's delusional to think that this is gonna work out with this guy. But we'll see. I mean, you know, people's drive to be on television is is pretty high, and they'll do some incredible things to do it. So maybe uh, you know, Yanis will figure it out. It would be interesting to see more from these two. I'd, I'd like to see more coverage in the U.S. Because in Greece, it's just really Chantel running around partying and being wild and crazy and stuff. and Which is fine, but honestly, it just wasn't very entertaining to me. I, I like more of the couple stuff, you know. So anyway, guys, we're way over time here. Make sure to like today's video before you leave. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, please consider becoming a member. Or you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash TLC Trash Fire to leave a one-time tip. Leave a comment below to keep the conversations going. Let me know. What do you think? Do you think Chantel is delusional and has a bad taste in men? Because that's my opinion. But I would love to hear your opinion below. And guys, like I said, we've got a new tell-all. So I will make another video shortly after editing this one, but I'm going to get hard at work editing this video so I can get it out to you as soon as possible because I miss you guys and hopefully you miss me too. That's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.